right. Who the fuck put you up to this? Did you write this goddamn speech, Kyle? Did you tell him to say all this stuff? No, Stan, Kyle didn't put Scott Malkinson up to anything. Actually, that's your own insecurities because you don't want to confront what you know about Kenny. You know that I know something about Kenny that I'm not telling you because it involves my father who I don't want to face. That's what I just said. I know you knew something about Kenny. And the fact that you want to face your own father, that's your own insecurities. Seriously, Stan, you need to get it together. Guys, please, this is a house of God. Look, Cartman, I appreciate the fact that you found religion, but maybe you need to stay the hell out of this one. You judge me. You all sit here and judge me. Well, fuck all of you. Whoa, 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 Stan. I understand you're upset, but there are kids present. You need to watch your language. This is exactly why I moved out of this hick-ass town, and I'm going back home to the city. Well, good. If you're going to have that kind of attitude, I don't think we want you around. And by the way, we're going to point out a whole lot of mistakes in this video. Just FYI. My child, please, we're gathered in Christ. I'm Scout Malkinson. I have diabetes. What a douchebag. I'm sure those of you who are true fans of the show like we are fully understand who Victor Chaos is. And for those of you who don't know, it is none other than Leopold Stotch, aka Butters. I feel kind of silly telling everyone that, but there are people that don't necessarily watch the show as much as so. Hello ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and welcome back to another edition of Movie Mistakes. And today we're going to show you a few of the mistakes that we found in... South Park, post-COVID. And as usual, go ahead and take this time to click the like, subscribe, and notification bells now. We'll keep you updated on all of our up and coming videos. Oh yeah, and before I forget, if you haven't seen this episode yet, there are some serious spoilers ahead. So for mistake number one, we got Kyle on the phone talking to Stan informing him that Kenny's dead. But we're not going to focus on that. Take a look at the pins in the position. As we continue the clip, Kyle turns around and we can see that the pins are in the same position as they were in the other shot. And I know I don't have to explain angles to you, but if he changes angles, so should those pins. Yeah, Mr. White. Yes, yeah, science. In his next shot, Kyle is giving Cartman an earful because he believes he's pretending to be Jewish just to mess with him. However, we're going to focus on the car just outside of the window. Take note that it's silver and it's parked in a specific parking spot. But when the camera angle switches from Kyle and Stan back over to Cartman with his family outside, we can see that there's a brown car there where there was a silver one before. Also, if you're paying close attention, the parking spots have changed as well. Just knock it off! You don't believe a word of that shit. You're just doing all this to get a rise out of me. Of course I believe every word that I'm saying. I mean, it's movie mistakes. Why wouldn't I, Kyle? For this mistake, we're at Kenny's funeral. And the cool part is we got a myriad of different kind of characters that attended the funeral. There are some that are pretty popular, and then there are some that I don't quite recognize, like this guy right here. But when we get a shot of Scott Malkinson, we get a close-up of Stan, and notice right in front of him is now Nathan. Which again, I thought was pretty cool that they put a lot of the characters in here as adults. Alright, alright, who the fuck put you up to this? So for our next mistake, we're staying in the same scene and this one's kind of obvious. When Stan has his outburst, we get a close-up of Kyle and notice that the lady sitting next to him is wearing blue. But as the scene continues on, notice that we get another shot of Kyle and the lady and she is now wearing orange for some reason. Can't really think of a good reason why she would change colors, but there it is. Kenny was not a Jew, but he had so many amazing Jewish qualities. So in the next scene, we are now at the senior living facility and once again, we've got a myriad of different kind of characters that uh, starred throughout the show. But maybe we'll focus on that in another video. But keep a close eye on this guy right here. Take note that he's sitting next to the lady in the, what was that, purple shirt? But as the camera switches angles, we can now see that the chair is empty for some reason. I mean, maybe he needed a nap? 
Maybe he had to go to the bathroom. Maybe he wanted to yell at some kids for playing on the lawn. I I'm not sure, but he's gone. In this scene, we got Wendy, who I thought would look way different when she got older. She's just on her apple, uh, whatever that's considered to be apple there. But it does make total sense that she would be drinking some coffee. Notice that the handle is facing outward. But as we get a shot of her from behind, we can see now that the handle is facing toward her computer, where it was the opposite before. What does that mean? Are you vaccinated, Clyde? Yeah, I've been immunized. He's not fucking vaccinated! He's the fucking one! So for our last mistake, Kenny is about to travel to the past to fix what's wrong. In this shot, notice that there's no one standing to Kenny's left, or right of our screen. But when the female scientist approaches Kenny, we can now see that there's a guy standing there that wasn't there previously. He spent his whole life trying to fix your bro ship and then realized this was the only way because you guys suck. So what did you guys think of South Park post-COVID? I actually thought it was pretty good. I mean, not one of the best episodes they've ever made, but we'll take it. Also, don't forget to let us know what you'd like to see next using the hashtag mistakes. So as usual, don't forget to hit the like, subscribe, and notification bells now. Uh, we'll keep you updated of all of our up and coming videos. Just try to show the channel a little bit of love. And thank you for hanging out with us here at Moving Mistakes, and we'll see you in the next one.